Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. RJ and Nick here. The last episode I did um, was showing you how to make a wheat farm as well as a uh, chicken farm. Unfortunately, out of the nine chicken eggs that I had, not one of them hatched into a chicken, which kind of uh, kills the wheat farm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my stuff in a chest and I'm going to go exploring. I'm going to try to find more chickens and see if I can catch some more eggs. I'm also going to bring a piece of wheat with me so that I can try to kite some back here if I do come across some out there. So, this should be good. I've got two swords and stuff. So, um, oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I had that out for a reason. I'm going to make, before I leave, before I leave, I'm actually going to make a compass so that I can find my way back here. So a compass is just a piece of redstone and four pieces of iron. Now what's cool about a compass is the needle will always point back towards your original spawn location, which for me is somewhere in these trees, I believe. Um, which should be fine because as long as it brings me close enough, I'll be able to see my giant pillar. So since the sun just came up, it's about time to head out and start looking for some chickens. All I really need is either a bunch of chicken eggs or one chicken, which actually I think I'm in luck because there's a chicken right here. Wow. Now if you hold out a piece of wheat, any animal, cows, pigs, sheep, chickens, they'll follow you because they want the wheat. And I'll show you a little trick on getting the chicken into the chicken coop. Basically you walk around with the wheat which we're going to keep going this way. And the animals will continue to follow you. And what we're going to do is we want to get the chicken inside of our um, oops, chicken coop, which I think we have to go back this way. So when I first built this, I created a staircase. And basically I'm just going to jump up here. And the chicken will follow me. And if I jump down into here... The chicken should follow me, which he did, and now I have a chicken inside my chicken coop, which is awesome. One thing to know about chickens, if you have two chickens and you have two pieces of wheat, you can walk up to them and feed each of them a piece of the wheat, and these little hearts mean that they're about to make babies if two of them are next to each other with the little hearts. So if I grab another piece of wheat from here... Uh, let me replant the seeds so that can get started. I'm just going to grab one more. Um, yep, I want to replant that as well. And I'm going to go out and see if I can find another chicken. Which I'm actually really surprised at how quickly I found that chicken. So let's hope that there's another one just kind of pecking around up here somewhere. I'm just going to walk with the weed out. Sometimes if you don't see them but they see you, they will be attracted to the wheat, so they might start walking to you, and you'd have no idea they were there. And there's a couple dogs. I don't think dogs come to wheat. Which, what are they? Oh, look at that. There's a chicken. Awesome. He's not too far away, so should be able to um, bring him back. One thing I want to try is grab a bunch of bones and see if I can get like two or three dogs to follow me. So it's kind of cool seeing that there's um, dogs over there. So I'm just going to keep running backwards. I know generally what way to go because if you keep your compass on your um, oops, your bar, then it'll constantly point towards spawn. So I know that if I keep running backwards, oh god. <laughs> oh wow, that would have not been good. Um, all right, if you put the wheat away, the chicken will stop following you. So I don't want to push him off the edge. Come on, chicken. All right, that yeah, that was almost bad because I do not know how far down that drop is. So I think from now on I'm gonna try watching where I go. Come on, chicken. All right, there we go. Had to break some of those leaves for him. Cool. All right, well. Come on, chicken. We're almost there. I can see my giant pillar over there. You don't want to run too fast because the animals do run slower than you. And if you run too fast, you may run completely away from him. 
and you'll have to run back and try to chase them down again. And they will stop following you. So, uh, what I'm going to do is... Let's see if I can get over here. Yeah, that's great. Alright, we're going to walk in front, and I'm going to make this one follow me up the same way I did with the first one. I'm going to hop up the... Oh, come on, chicken got the water. Come on. Let's go, chicken. All right, cool. <sighs> All right. Thank you for bathing before you go into our chicken coop. Come on up. This chicken seems to be a little more, um, a little less coordinated than our first chicken, but that's okay. Once he decides to come up here, I'm just going to fall in here. Oops. And there we go. So now I've got two chickens in my chicken farm. And I'm going to feed both of them a piece of wheat. And just like that, they're going to get together and pop out a little baby chicken. So now I have three chickens in here. Something to notice, the little baby chickens, if you were to kill them right now, they would not drop anything. I don't think they drop experience, and they don't drop feathers or chicken meat. They have to grow up, which takes, I don't know, maybe ten minutes. So for now, I'm just going to let them bounce around in here, and I'm going to get out of here by going down here. And there's no eggs yet. However, we have our egg light here, so once we get um, some eggs, that'll turn on to let me know, and I can just go down there. If I know I'm going to be gone for a while, I could take something whoops, and just come down here, stand on this little platform, and close myself in, and I would be protected. So while I'm AFK, I could just sit here and collect a bunch of eggs, come back, hopefully have a couple of stacks, and then go throw it in the coop. And then from there, just make more and more chickens. Now, one thing to notice, once you get a bunch of chickens in here, um, it, w it could cause you to... Alright guys, I'm back. Um, just finished leveling all of the dirt. So now I'm going to... Oh, crap. I'm going to... Kill the uh, skeleton that's attacking me right now. Hopefully I don't... Okay, well, I didn't hit my wheat or anything. And if you notice, the red light just turned on, which means we should have eggs down here. And look at that. We have an egg. So let's go back up top here, and let's try to throw our egg in here and hope it breaks into a chicken. Ready? No. No chicken yet. Okay. Well, let me finish putting down my fence. There, so I'm gonna go this way a little bit. The same way that um, you cannot jump over a fence is the same way that animals and other creatures, I think except for spiders, I know spiders can uh, jump over a fence, I believe. I'm just going to take this back row out here as well. You can see all the saplings from the trees that I tore down earlier. I'm just going to take this back row out just so that um, the fence looks a little better. As well as, uh, I'll make sure that nothing, like no zombies, easily pop the fence either. So. You can also put torches on fence posts so that it gives a more cool look to it. And I hate the rain, I really do. I wish I had a slash toggle downfall command on single player. However, I don't. Yeah, I notice I'm still using charcoal, which means I need to go mining. So, let's make some more sticks. Oh wow, I already had a bunch of sticks on me. Just gonna make a ton of bits. More fence. And I'll just leave the sticks quick.
do, since I have all this extra fence, I'm going to just break this and make this a little bit longer out of the front so that I'll have more room um, for animals and stuff. I'm lagging, I don't know if it's because of the chickens and the rain, so I'm going to stop this for a second and see if that helps. 